So if you've been playing this game for a while, you know exactly what vehicle I'm talking about. And no, it is not the Oppressor Mark II. Even if you own one of those, I feel like you deserve a life sentence in prison. We are, in fact, talking about the Buzzard. This is a vehicle that you can pretty much do anything with, and it will help you out drastically on all of your adventures and missions and things in this game. So the reason I'm saying this is the only vehicle you need as a solo player in GTA Online, and the reason it is the best vehicle in GTA Online. There's two reasons for that. Number one, the best solo vehicle. If you're watching this because you're a solo player, obviously you're not in public lobbies. You do not need all of these vehicles that are basically built to protect you from other players. Being in a solo lobby, an invite-only lobby, whether it's by yourself or with friends, you do not need to spend millions on these vehicles that literally are just there to make sure that you can defend yourself and attack if being attacked by other people. So here's what makes this vehicle so special and what makes it the greatest vehicle online. So first of all, if you are registered as a CEO, which let's be honest, the majority of the time, the majority of your businesses that are at least profitable ones, you're gonna be a CEO. And when you hold down the interaction menu, you can quickly, as you can see right here, scroll on down, go to CEO vehicles, and select the buzzard for free. And it'll spawn up right next to you. Now, if you do not own the buzzard, I believe you could still spawn it, but it's gonna cost you like 12,000 or something ridiculous. Buy the thing. Being able to spawn this just consistently is incredible. Another thing is from your CEO office. Once you've sourced your cargo or whatever it is you're doing from your PC, you can walk over to your secretary and request the buzzard, which will cost you 500, which is nothing. And you may be thinking, well, why would you source, why would you pay 500 for a buzzard when you already own one? Well, that's simple because your buzzard, your CEO buzzard, you can spawn at any time and it'll show up to you. The ones that you get from your CEO, not your CEO, from your uh, secretary, those ones are from Pegasus and you can get them from your office like right away but then once it blows up you can request it again but it's going to be in Timbuktu. So the best thing to do is once you've sourced something from your office just request one from your secretary take that one out and about and if it gets destroyed it doesn't matter because then you can call your CEO ability and request one and boom it'll be right next to you. Let's look at this thing in action. So if you're doing bunker mission solo and you have multiple vehicles, you just take the first vehicle to the drop-off, spawn your buzzard, fly back, pick up the second one, take it to the drop-off, spawn your buzzard, fly back, and it is just easy as that. What's something else a lot of people like doing solo? Cargo missions. You have to track down a vehicle with this annoying app. No problem for the buzzard, ladies and gentlemen. It can maneuver in and out, find the vehicle, make sure you don't even have to land, you just fly down next to it. It says it's not the right one and then you'll eventually find the right one, then you'll be able to nicely land in front of them, shoot them in the head with a sniper, and you're golden. Oh, but then what you do once you've dropped it off, you have to go back to the CEO office. No fear! Guess what's here? All you have to do, once again, go onto your CEO vehicle, spawn your buzzard, and you can just fly back over there. Easy as pie! But what about the missions when you have to go and get a police vehicle? Those are a pain. You have to use a car for those, right? And then drive them around and chase them. Nope. All you have to do is take your buzzard, land in front of them, and then it's actually kind of crazy because all you have to do is walk up to them and pull them out of the vehicle. It is that simple. So you drop the vehicle off and then what happens? Now we're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Nope. CO vehicles, buzzard. We're ready to go to the next one. Okay, okay, those ones are easy though, you may be thinking. Okay, though, sure, you know, you could use the buzzard for those, but what about when you have to go out to sea? You cannot use a buzzard when you go out to sea. You've got to land it, then you've got to use a boat, and it just takes up so much time that I don't even want to use the buzzard because it, ju it just takes up time. Wrong, ladies and gentlemen. All you have to do is fly out there. You can literally just shoot all of the people so you don't even have to get out. And then you, as long as you're very slow and very precise, I know all of you are great pilots, okay? I know there's no awful pilots here. All you have to do is slowly go down and you can pick it up and fly off with it, ladies and gentlemen. The buzzards, you don't even have to get out of the bloody thing. And then just repeat it once again. And one more time. And then you're done. Yeah, but what about missions where you have to get out and actually go places? It is also fine because all you're going to have to do is fly over to these places, take everyone out so you don't have to take any damage. You just whoop, 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 
go in and guess what this is actually quite funny i can't lie if we watch <laughs> we have to watch this one together because okay i take everyone out out front we take everyone out inside and then look at this look at the once we pick up the vehicle after all of that look how far i have to go we're literally right next to the warehouse ladies and gentlemen <laughs> <laughs> Literally just right next to it. But you know what that means. That's right, the helicopter. The buzzard is right outside waiting for me. So here's another great example, ladies and gentlemen, of you not even having to leave your buzzard. So this scenario here, they end up killing me, which is fine because... If you don't know, once they kill you, you actually lose your wanted level and the police disappear anyway. So it's kind of perfect. You just run straight back over there. Get back in your buzzard, ladies and gentlemen. You just pick them up off the ground, fly off, drop them off, come back, pick them up off the ground. Nice and easy, does it? And then you go drop them off. The buzzard's the greatest thing ever. Probably thinking, okay, okay. You know, it's great for bunker delivery missions. Which a lot of people are like, how can you do those solo? You need a buzzard. It's great for these missions, right? It's great for sourcing cargo because it just makes your life so much easier. You can go in the water. I didn't know that. You can go in the water if you're good, if you're good. Don't go too close because you'll... Um, but what else? What else can this thing do that's so good for a solo player? Okay. How about headhunting? Maybe you're just having lunch on top of the bridge, you know, as you do. And you think, you know what? Let's do some headhunting. Well, guess what? This thing can do it in like three minutes. You don't want 42,000 in three minutes? Okay, well, don't do this then. But if you do want 40,000 in three minutes, this thing is the vehicle you need, ladies and gentlemen. It is so maneuverable. It is so easy to lock onto people. It is just an absolute beast. So let's look at this. There's one guy right here. Let's kill him. Two guy right here. You know what? Usually when they're in the car, it's a pain in the butt. Nope, not for this thing. Take him out onto the next one. Another one on the ground, he thought he could run. Absolutely not. No one runs from the buzzard. Here's the fourth and final one. He thought he could hide around the corner from a buzzard. Obviously, nobody has told him that this is the greatest vehicle for a solo player in GTA 5 Online. 